And I have been asked by NAW management to begin tonight, before we presume to the action, with a brief word from your former NAW Tag Team Champions. Wrestling fans, please welcome Bloodbound. What a beautiful introduction from Aaron Hathaway. Ladies and gentlemen, we had the second impact. It's now time for Aftershock at a sold out basement in Copenhagen, Denmark. This is Nordic Elite Wrestling, and I am your voice of Scandigraphs, TJ Lee. And we start our show with a reflection on the end of our last one. That hellacious main event where Bloodbound unfortunately lost the titles in an I Quit match to current to NEW Tag Team Champions, Merseyside Mercenary Squad. That scene is burned into the brains of everybody, no more so than Lunico, who watched his lover, his tag team partner, prepped for a powerbomb through a table of a barbed wire and had to say I quit to make sure he didn't have any further damage. Of course, Merseyside still put him through it. They are here to reflect. They are here to regroup and here to rebuild. The former champs, Bloodbound, looking for a new direction in the tag team division. Some uh, Aaron say, Tudia, NEW tag team champions. Target via Dan Evans or Scott Oberman. Ooh. Jeg ved ikke, hvor mange af jer var her sidste gang, der er sådan Danmarks mest brutale kamp fandt sted den her, ikke? Ja, og mange nye, fedt. Anyway, det kan godt være, at vi ikke er jeres Nordic Elite Wrestling Tag Team Champions længere. Og People Champs! People Champs! Det kan godt lide lyden af det. Og man kan sige, det kan godt være, at vi ikke er champs mere sådan on paper, men øh, vi har jo heldigvis stadig hinanden. Så... So. All right there, Lunico talking about the champs, were they really the true champions? And I think they think that, uh, you know, they still have each other even though they lost the belts. But that is the music, one of the most intense entrance musics you will hear in professional wrestling belonging to one of the nastiest teams in all of European wrestling. Scott Oberman and Dan Evans, Merseyside Mercenary Squad from one of the roughest parts of the UK up in Liverpool. The Scandinavian King self-proclaimed, but the only belts that matter are the NEW Tag Team Championships. And critically, I only see Scott Overman coming out here. His partner, Dan Evans, might be defending singles goal. Both these men have singles championships in Scandinavia and in the UK. It doesn't get more elite than these two. Overman is a killer in his own right and looks to have something to say. The blood bath. My partner doesn't need to be here tonight. And the reason that I say that is because my partner does not need to be here right now for me to still single-handedly beat the shit out of the two of you. Strong words. So what you say is that you want to fight? You want to see a fight? Do you want to see this fight? Gabriel looks a little bit. Not nice. He's <laughs> still trying to figure out who's taking him. Okay. Decision made. It's Gabriel Faust for Bloodbound and Oberman for Merseyside. I'll leave it up to the audience if you want to start tonight with an unsanctioned fight between the Grim Reaper on wings, Gabriel Faust, and our own NEW Tag Team Champion, Scott Oberman. Let me get a hand. Gabriel Faust. 
Well, there you have it, folks. That's our first contest. Let's get into it. Love a little bit of chaos here at the basement. Referee Dad Christians refereeing. Bell wrong, we're underway. And Faust would love to get some momentum back in the favor of Bloodbound Overman with that championship confidence. Collar of a tie up. And straight for that wrist lock. And you know, I've seen Scott Overman as a singles competitor as well as a tag competitor. There are very few people that can match the intensity, the ferocity of Gabriel Faust, but Scott Overman is most definitely one of them. Reverses it right there. Overman favors the snap man, now goes in for that, went for that bull choke and uh, Faust able to get out of it. And you'll see this in the early ongoing, reversal and reversal. And Oberman just showing. I mean, look at those eyes. That's killer instinct right there. And Lunico barking in the corner. And, you know, we've got to be aware of this. Nice head scissors from Faust. We've got to be aware of this. Bloodbound aren't just a tag team. They are bound together by a very complex relationship. They are lovers. They are friends. And Lunico is very attached in that sense as Faust begins to get some momentum. As he goes up and over and hits the satellite DDT. But let's keep an eye on that with Lunico. Just a two. A little bit of separation and you look at the face of Lunico. Big chop, sends Faust down, caught in that trio oh, temporarily. Trying to right himself and bounces his lower back off the apron. And it's not that Dan Evans and Oberman wouldn't look out for each other. They're brothers, but they would let each other go through hell, go through pain if it meant securing the win. And, and we know that Lunico will not do the same thing. And that's not a negative. This is a different relationship. And if you followed NEW, you know the story of Bloodbound. It is complicated. It is violent. It is at times obsessive. Nice trip from Oberman. Goes over. Double foot stomp. From the very tall, very cerebral Scott Oberman. And of course, those NEW tag team belts won by Bloodbound out our biggest show, the biggest show in Denmark's history, in Scandinavian history. The Amaga Bio, that ladder match that involved Merseyside. This has been brewing for quite some time. But for as cohesive a unit as Bloodbound were, that relationship can go toxic very quickly. Oberman with a nice suplex. Really turned into it, and that already compromised back of Faust is going to start really breaking down. Nice lateral press, just a two. And it says a lot to the confidence Dan Evans has in Scott Overman. Doesn't feel the need to fly out from the UK and be there with his tag partner. He trusts in Overman's ability as he volleys a short forearm right into the middle of Faust's back. And the crowd going very silent. Look at this. 
modified torture rack. And you see Lunigo grabbing the ropes. Like, looks like he's going to try and get up and get in the ring. And plants foul center of the ring. Isolates that arm and now cranking on that neck. Nasty. Painful, but Faust gets to the ropes. I mean, I don't like Oberman's attitude, but he's got a point. This is a match between Faust and Oberman. Unico needs to keep his emotions in check. Oh, quick, roll through. Hooks in. It's just a two. Oh, my God. Shut down Faust with a hellacious double axe handle. It's crazy to think that Oberman, at just 27 years old, is already 11 years into his career, trained at Future Shock by one of the best tag teams in the UK, grizzled young veterans. And Oberman showing, as, he, as he's not even in his prime, how good he is. Lateral press off a backdrop. Just a two, but goes right back to that neck. Palm to palm, the bully choke. And Lunico trying to rally that support. I mean, this is a different version of Gabriel Faust. He's trying, but I have seen this man snap people's fingers, bite people. It just seems like there might be an off night here between Lunico and Faust. Whip it to the corner. Faust floats over. He's got to try to get some momentum, but reversed again by Oberman. Oh, very nice from Faust. Separation elbow. And goes up for the springboard forearm. That might be the separation and the momentum shift that Faust needs. And Faust giving a defiant middle finger. And he goes up for the beautiful knee, rattling the skull of Oberman. And Lunico getting up then. I mean, it's a nice display of affection, but again, keep your focus on your opponent. Faust has Scott up for the go to sleep. One, two, no, so close. Two knees to the side of the skull, but Oberman still kicks out. Faust might have damaged his knee in the process. And so those butterfly hooks. Faust backed into the corner by Oberman. Oh, and his temper got the better from his Faust gets out of the way. Oh, that's got a sting. I mean, listen to Lunico again. This just. Very fired up, very protective of a Faust, but this might come back to haunt him. And Oberman's gonna make him pay with that neck breaker right off the metal on the turnbuckle. It's fucking too much, it's fucking too much, this shit. It's fucking too much. Hello, Camilla, Faust. He's saying it's too much, and Oberman doesn't care. It's, it's still going on as he waits. He's beating in Faust, top rope. Oh, top rope cutter staggers Faust, who looks like he might be out. Hooks the leg, and Faust kicks out, and Lunico nearly gets involved now. That could be a disqualification. He has to be careful. Listen to that. You have to admire the competitive spirit, the protective desire Lunico has for Faust, but... 
This is this is getting ugly with the five star frog splash from Oberman. One, two, and Faust kicks out. Instinctually kicks out. But I don't know how much Faust has left in the tank. See what I mean? Look at this. Look at this. This is only making Oberman angrier. This is a miscalculation on Nudico's part. Tombstone position. And he's making him look at him as he does it. Oh, fast reversal, victory roll. One, two, no. That might have been the last gasp for Faust. Kick behind the head for him. Lands on Oberman's skull, who's out on his feet. Oh, picked up. Oh, and went for the head says as Oberman guts through it. Tombstone position and drives him into the mat. And that is it, Faust is out. This is just icing on the cake, isolates the arm, pulling on the neck. Oh man, look at that intensity, Faust screaming Oberman. Oberman pulls him away from the ropes and stares Lunico down as if to say, you did this. Oh my God, it's gonna break his neck. No, Lunico has to throw in the towel. That's it, that is it. Scott Oberman in dominant fashion. And there's quite a few things to pick through there. Was Faust having an off night? Was Lunico too protective? Did he egg on Oberman to darker, darker depths? Nastier places, I don't know. But Merseyside now have beaten Bloodbound in tag and singles competition. And that might be symbolic of them saying, we're done with you. Heartbreak for Bloodbounds, Gabriel Faust. A phenomenal showing for the 27-year-old phenom from Liverpool, Scott Oberman, representing Merseyside Mercenary Squad. There's some dissent here in the aftermath as Gabriel's talking to Lunico. And I don't know if he's maybe just not understanding why Lunico threw in the towel. Maybe it wasn't his place to. That's not for me to say. Faust is understandably very upset. Perhaps Lunico trying to remind him he did it for him. He did it for his safety. Unfortunate for Bloodbound, but I have no doubt they will regroup. <laughs>